Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. And in this video, we're going to look at how to use a pivot table to calculate the difference from previous year. So as you may know, pivot tables are an incredible summary tool that are brilliant for your reports and your dashboards and your analytical data. So I want to use it on this big list of cells I've got here. And I've got two years worth of data, which happened to be uh, 2011 and 2012. So a few years ago now, but it is merely an example. So let me start by clicking insert and pivot table. And let's put this on a new worksheet. So here we go. And I'm going to have to start building it with my fields. So what I'm going to do is bring in order date, that is for sure. And I'm going to put that into the rows area originally. And I'm going to right mouse click on one of those dates and group it. So I'm looking for years and at the moment I have a specific date. So I'm going to have to group this to get the years that I want. And I don't need months right now, so I'm just going to click OK. And I've got my two years for my data. Now I'm going to bring category into here as well, because that is ultimately what I'm looking at comparing. I'm going to compare the category cells over these two years. And I'll now drift order date, as it is still called, into the columns area. So you see this is where we're going to get our comparisons. Now I need some calculation. Let's bring total sales value in. And now I've got a grand total and I have some figures. Now I want to know what the difference is between them. So I'm going to bring total sales value in again. And the reason for that is going to be clear quite soon. So it's looking you know, pretty bad at the moment, you may say. I'm repeating what I've got. I've got 2011 here, 2012 here, and then some totals. Now, first of all, I don't need two lots of totals. So I'm going to right mouse click and hide one of those totals columns straight away. I'm not going to need that twice. And then in this second lot, I'm going to right mouse click, summarize, or sorry, show values as, and we've got all this fantastic stuff in here. Now you can see we've got difference from and percentage difference from. For this example, I'm just going to choose difference from. I want the base field to be the order date. Remember that means year at the moment because of its grouped status. And I'll keep the base item as previous. So when I click OK now, I have the difference to the previous year. Now I'm just going to switch those around in this values area because actually I'd like them the other way around. Here we go, like this. So I wanted it to be that I've got the 2011 sales, the difference, and then the 2012 sales. So how much has gone up and down? And it's just a couple there going down as we can see. Let's make that a little bit clearer. Let me right mouse click on one of those values and number format. And we need to put this into an accounting format, but I'd also like the negatives to appear in red. So let's put it in an accounting format. And let's be going to this custom area. And then hunt out the one I want, like this one here. And click OK. So now that really shines those negatives. You can apply conditional formatting rules to pivot tables. So that might be a better uh, option right now. You've got more scope to do what you want within conditional formatting. Now we can rename these headers along the top you know, to clear this up. If this is a report that you're producing regularly, you want to make these efforts, don't you? So I might change some of these headers, just simply in the pivot as it is, total sales, that will update the one over here. This one can be last year difference. And this first one, I could even go as far as hiding that column. Because it's blank, it has no relevance here. And then maybe resizing some of these. So this is all kind of aesthetics at the moment. You know, it has its place. But just trying to make this report look as you want, this pivot table look as you want. 
So I've still got my total cells over here. This all needs formatting as well, really. And we just apply a normal accounting format for that. Here we go. And now we have it. We have the total sales for 2011, as it is the previous year. I've then got the difference, showing that two of them, dairy and grains, have you know, got worse since that year. You know, minor improvements for condiments. And then I have the total sales for 2012. Remember, there are options in there for percentage difference from as well. You may want that in addition to this. We could have that in there as well. No problem. Or instead of this. But this is some of the, you know, the great tools of pivot tables. You can't just, it's not limited to standard sum and count and average. We have a bunch of good stuff in there, you know, to generate rankings and comparisons between other different categories or in this case different years i hope you found this video useful please check out some of our other videos on our youtube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com